Would you support putting political party labels on general election ballot for Supreme Court justices? I I will say no for this reason. In Ohio, uh, I think uh, most recently in 1987, uh, voters have overwhelmingly decided that they want to keep the right to elect judges. So I think everyone's sort of come to the uh, realization that, that they're going to have to be elected, at least in this state. Uh, but those elections should be as apolitical as possible. By putting party affiliation on the general ballot, you are making them slightly, marginally more political. Um, aren't they, aren't they and realistically though, political? I mean, you're running a primary, a party right. primary. Everybody knows what you are in the primary. I mean, isn't it political by nature anyway? It is, given that the voters are choosing. Mm -hmm. But uh, there is an ideal here at stake, which is to, to keep them as apolitical as possible. So, you may say it's uh, for show that these are nonpartisan in the general, but uh, at least it's an effort to keep politics out of it as much as possible. Uh, so, first is the Constitution. It, voters in Ohio will, will vote for judges and justices in the, for the foreseeable future. But second, it is the legislature that has to set the rules for voting, so to speak. So it's the legislature that would decide whether to eliminate partisan primaries altogether and have, have sort of a, a free-for-all with two people coming out of it than going to the general, probably without uh, party affiliation. But it's also the legislature, it seems to me, who would decide whether in the fall to have party affiliation. We have as you know, uh, majority rule with respect for minority rights. It occurs to me that whatever system is designed by the legislature to be different than the one we have is likely to be one where that legislature hopes to favor one party or the other, which is just the way things go. Mm -hmm. For example, in redistricting, I think we can all agree that typically the party in control when redistricting is done tends to favor itself, whereas uh, good government advocates would say there should be some sort of neutral system of redistricting. I think the same would occur if you change the way elections are run. I recognize that the current system is based on law as enacted by the legislature, but they have been in, in place for quite some time now, and it, it, it has become a way of doing things. I worry that if you start changing that, it's, it is going to be made even more political. And I don't say that, by the way, as a Republican or Democratic thing, and at the risk of offending my Democratic hosts here today, if the Democrats control the legislature and the executive branch, and they were changing the rules for how judges were elected, I have to believe that they would uh, uh, try to change them to, in some way, uh, favor their own candidates, and just as I think the other party would, too.